So our lives all revolve around the internet, whether we notice it or not. Like, if I had to ask you this, how many of you here go on Facebook? Or have a Facebook account at least? What, show of hands again? How many of you here would not even remember your friends' birthdays if not for Facebook? <laughs> how many of you here watch YouTube more than you watch television now? See, so just by this show of hands, we can see that our lives all revolve around the internet at one way or another. Nowadays, it's so easy for us to go online and find anything we want to find. Because of technology, everything that we want to know is there. All the information that we want to look for are online. And day by day, more information goes online. And at the same time, it becomes easier and easier for us to get this information. Like 10 years ago, you will probably not be able to go online and find information as easy as you can today. With all technologies today like Google and Wikipedia, information really has been traveling a lot faster nowadays. The information that we get online are like all pulled together into this one big body that is so conveniently placed somewhere that we can just go to at the comfort of our own homes. You don't have to go to a library anymore and search for maybe even ours just to find something you're looking for. But nowadays, you can just go online, type something, and you're there. It's so easy to find inter information online and nobody's gonna stop you from finding what you're looking for. There's this great freedom in the internet, but at the same time, we become spoiled. We may not notice it, but with how easy it is for us to get this information, we become spoiled with information. We stop caring about the value of the information that we're getting. It's like, since it's so easy to get, it's like, what's the point of, you know, they find, it's like we lose the value of them. And so, I'd like to talk about how I came to this realization when last summer, I decided to create a game. All right, so, this game was something that I did last summer because I was just really bored. Uh, I'm not a professional programmer. I've never had any professional training in programming, but I thought maybe it'd be fun if I try it out. So this game called When Pigs Fly, it was my summer project. I made it uh, for the first month of summer last year from scratch and I never actually published a game, but I learned a lot from making this, and for me, that was the most important thing about this game. So I'd like to talk about my experience when creating When Pigs Fly. So when you're gonna do something nowadays, when you want to learn how to do something, a lot of you would probably do what the same thing that I did. I went to Google, then typed in the search, uh, search box how to create an app or how to make a game, and I just kept on changing the query until I got what I was looking for. Nowadays, when we're researching, that's pretty much all we have to do, right? And that's the same thing I did. So, for my first day, first few days, I was researching and I found this framework that I thought it would be easy for me to learn. And so, I decided that, hey, this would be fun, I should try it out. And so, I spent a week or so trying to research more about this framework and I couldn't find anything. Because, as it turns out, this framework was quite new at that point, and it's not like popular software such as Photoshop or things like that, wherein if you go online and you want to know how to do something there, just look for a tutorial, and there's instructions there about how you can do things. But for this, I, when I searched online, all I could find were like how to do the basics, and I was just not used to it being that way. And so, that's where I ran into some trouble, and then that's when I realized that, okay, now what? And then so, I tried it out. So I tried researching on the basics, and I, l I tried learning a bit, and so I spent a week or so trying to get to grasp of these basics, and I tried playing with them on my own, which is something I've really not done before. But eventually, after a week, I came up with a prototype for this game, actually, and when I showed it to my friends, they were like, oh, it's nice, we should, you know, progress this, we should add some more. And so, online, it's like, I got these, uh, I got all of these recipes, I got all these ingredients to make a burger, and with these ingredients, 
I was like, what am I supposed to do with these? Because normally, if I want a burger, it's either prepared for me already or I know how to prepare it already. But for this, I had no idea what to do. But then eventually, we got our burger done and, and we called it When Pigs Fly. So after that, I guided my friends, we started building on the graphics and some more of the game concepts and we came up with this. So here are some screenshots for the game. So as you can see, it's, it's a rather simple game actually. All you have to do is uh, tap and try to maneuver this pig as he flies across the sky and eat food. And while you're up there, there are these birds flying that are trying to attack the pigs. And that was just a sheer coincidence and it had nothing to do with that very popular game with birds attacking pigs. And yeah, I was really happy that I got it done. Uh, I did it in around a month or so and I had a really great time you know, uh, creating this game. I learned a lot and at the same time, <laughs> and at the same time, I got something done. And this is where we see the value of the information that we get online. You know, it's not like, the information there is not for us to just be able to get anytime we want, but it's for something for us to learn from. Because people put them up there so that you can, every, it was available to everyone, but you know, when you see it, you don't just look at it, read it, and that's it. You stop there. there these are informations that allow you to learn. Like, for example, if you want to learn how to play the guitar, what I see what most people are doing nowadays is just go online, then grab maybe uh, some tabs or something, then play the song, and that's it. Just memorize how to play the song, and for them, that's already playing the guitar. But for me, I think, the most important thing there is how you're going to use that thing you learned while playing the guitar and maybe, you know, create your own songs, which most people are not really doing nowadays. Or likewise, let's say for all the chefs out there, if you want to learn how to cook, a lot of people nowadays will just go online, look for a recipe, then that's it. Follow the recipe as it is given to you and just stop there. But there's more to cooking than just that. There's a lot more that you can learn from the things that you actually see in recipes that we take for granted because these recipes are just so easy for us to get. And so, I'd like to ask you this. How many of you cannot start a research paper or cannot start researching unless you go to Wikipedia first for all the students out there? Go on. I know there are a lot of you that go to Wikipedia at least once just to start a research. Because before I'd like to end, I'd like to ask you this also. How many of you have actually contributed information in Wikipedia? Okay, a lot less hands show. Because if you don't know, Wikipedia, you can actually edit the pages there and add your own content. Because before I end, I'd like to ask you to share what you also know. Because the things online, you only find them there because someone put them up there. And it's also, with you, your responsibility as netizens, to also share what you know. You can share the things that you've learned, share the things that you realize online for people to see. And who knows, you may one day be part of their own learning experience online. Thank you.